Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me with Prose by the Shua. Today's poem that I wrote is called In the Name of Goodness, and uh, what led me to it is these dizzying times we're in. Um, what I was thinking about was everything that's going on out there and how crazy it is and what I have control over and realizing that I don't have control over anything but me. That's it. How I behave, how I live, how I treat others, that's, that's all I can control, how I think. So, um, thanks for tuning in with me, Pros by the Shore, and I hope you're well. And here we go. In the name of goodness, we seek control. That's not love. It's fear of surrendering and letting go. In the name of goodness, we worry about our families and friends. That's not love. It's fear of loss. In the name of goodness, we protest against. That's not love. It's fear of them opposing us. In the name of goodness, we point fingers and cast blame in every direction but ours. That's not love. It's fear of being wrong. In the name of goodness, we delineate borders. That's not love. It's fear of sharing our wealth. In the name of God and oneness, what are we doing to ourselves? Can we dare to look at our fears and stop our self-inflicted insanity? Our boogeyman has many disguises, but mask just one thing, a deep-seated, acquired fear. We entered this domain fearless, but we've been reprimanded, scolded, warned, and scared into a dizzying state of distrust, uncertainty, and perpetual skepticism, all just fighting to survive against the boogeyman. Is it worth it? What we, what we repel against most always, always has a way of finding us. We run and run, but we can't hide from our self-imagined boogeyman, fear. As the masks peel away one by one, fear is always at the core foundation. Fear of death, fear of separation. That's it, and only it, period. Everything else is just made up stories we fool ourselves with over and over again. Can we be separated from our essence, our bodies, the temporary containers of our essence? Yes, of course we can. But the source from which we came, impossible. He, she, the universe won't allow it. Without us, it's not whole. One fabric simply and beautifully attached to the next and the next, and the next. So, where's the real fear? It can, it can survive in just one temporary place, our distracted minds. The ultimate decision is ours, and only ours, one by one. Do we water it, fertilize it, and watch it grow? Or do we face it, be aware of it, and let it go?